Mosa, with all those lights on our VR Wireless Weather Network camera. Your time right now is 612. And hey, we had a bit of a scorcher yesterday. I think we hit the 90s. It was some record breaking heat. Well, let's see what today has in store for us. Here's uh, Marty View with your Storm Tracker 13 forecast. Good morning, Marty. And good morning, Coach. Now, more of the same, really. We do have a few clouds out there this morning. There's the view of them as seen from Cheyenne Mountain. Uh, Cheyenne Wells, excuse me. This is our VR Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera out there near the Kansas State line right now. Um, still pretty dark, as you notice. You might have also seen in that shot from the San Luis Valley or in Alamosa where you can see the mountains in the distance. So at least we have good visibility. There's not a lot of smoke out there right now. People are asking about the fall color. We're kind of starting to peak now across the high country in the Rockies. Not quite so much yet in Teller County. I want to thank Larry for giving me some on the ground sort of reports as far as that goes this morning. Um, in general, what happens across the west is over time, this starts to work down the terrain a little bit. And so though we're peaking up across the high country, it looks like we'll probably in the next week or so start to see that more at lower elevations in the Pikes Peak region. And that'll continue into early October before we get the first probably big windstorm to come in and knock it all out of here. And then that'll continue on down the terrain onto the plains of uh, eastern Colorado into western Kansas. Right now, 50s and 60s in much of eastern Colorado. Even Larry and Divide this morning's at 55, so it's a really warm morning here along the Front Range. A little cooler up across the mountain valleys. We have 30s right now for Alamosa and for Gunnison. Futurecast shows uh, you're not a lot of cloud cover right now. Obviously, we can see some this morning. We're kind of on the southern fringes of, of just a little bit of mid-level moisture in the atmosphere, giving us the clouds. But I think a partly cloudy sky will be the way to go for much of the day today. We'll also notice the wind start to pick up this afternoon. And notice that Futurecast is showing some gusts around 25 to 30 miles an hour. It's that wind in combination with the heat and the dry conditions that is the reason for the red flag warnings in effect for many of us this afternoon and evening. We'll be in the 90s to near 100 degrees here across the lower elevations of eastern Colorado today, 60s and 70s across the mountains and mountain valleys, and this will be plenty warm to be setting some records today by several degrees as it looks right now. Futurecast continues to show just a few clouds drifting across the area here through the evening hours. What you can't really see on this map well is a cold front that will start to slide in later on tonight. Kind of shows up as a little bit of a line feature in this animation moving back towards the mountains. So we'll have an easterly wind by tomorrow morning. Uh, it's a dry front, at least for now. It'll definitely shift the wind and start to take our temperatures down for tomorrow. Uh, but tonight as it's coming in, it'll keep the atmosphere mixed up and pretty mild. So we'll expect kind of a usual 40s and 50s for most areas here in eastern Colorado with 30s up across the high country and high mountain valleys. So dig in one more day of this sort of record summer heat, and then I might wager a guess that uh, this is the warmest day we're going to see for quite some time. That's the view from up on top of Cheyenne Mountain. Now, as opposed to Cheyenne Wells, I couldn't get my uh, brain straight here at the beginning of this segment. That's our wire nut camera. Pretty shot, by the way, with the city lights in the foreground and uh, some of the clouds there over the top. Just don't have the color yet, but we'll get it. So we'll track that cold front, bye-bye record warmth, then uh, maybe maybe a little bit of rain and snow with this. Wouldn't get too excited about that. We'll talk about it coming up next. Yeah, a week from October, we would be having record heat. <laughs> that is Colorado for you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. well, but this is a good one. I mean, the records yeah. were set in 2001. And okay. It was 87 and 93. So, you know, we're talking 91, 98. It's not like we're, you know, we're flirting it's with nuts. them. It's going to be like, yeah, on, you know, <laughs> and on Friday it was 90. Hot. I think usually it's like in the 70s, right? Yes. It's the average temperature. Yeah, mid 70s. So. A bit too warm, yes. a bit too warm already. Thanks, Marty. You're welcome. <laughs>